All right, welcome. In this video, I want to talk exclusively about the canvas.drawImage method. And so this method is something that we're going to be using to animate Mario in a future video. But for now, I just want to get familiar with the actual method itself so we can be comfortable. Now, what we can see right here on the left-hand side is my uh, attempt, my first attempt to draw my sprite sheet. And it looks like I've succeeded because the sprite sheet has been drawn on my screen, except it's got every single image of uh, Mario, and that's not exactly what we want. And how I've done that is using, as I've mentioned, this canvas.drawImage method. And in this case, I've handed it the sprite sheet, which is that whole image we see up there. And I told it to paint the sprite sheet at zero, zero. And we can just test, uh, maybe uh, test here, 100, 100. Indeed, okay. So it's working as I expect. I can draw the whole image wherever I want to draw it using the draw image method here. One thing I can do is change how large this image is. I'm going to make it larger. Actually, this might make it smaller. I don't know. I'm going to change it so that the width and the height of my image is 200 by 200. Now, I think this is going to squish it a bit because the actual image I see there is, is probably wider than 200. It might not be taller than 200. So whatever it is, we're going to take that and try and squish it into a square. That's what this is going to do for us. Let's see what happens. Ooh, okay, squishy. Uh, not exactly how we want it. Now, if I went and I checked my image here, my, uh, my paint tells me it's 405 by 188 pixels. So I've decided why not try and double that. And so now I've got it double the size that I want it. Now again, it's not exactly doing what I want. I still want to draw maybe only part of the image, not the whole image. So how am I going to do that? So to do that, I first need to decide which image do I want to draw. And maybe what I want to draw is this one here. This is idle Mario, just standing there. Big idle Mario, but hey, I like big Mario than, better than smaller Mario, so let's do big Mario. Now to do this, I need to know this rectangle's coordinates, and to do that I need to know the top left coordinates. So one of the reasons I've loaded this into Paint is because Paint will tell me in the bottom left-hand corner there what pixel my cursor is hovering over. And that's just convenient. I've been using Paint for many years. Now one thing you shouldn't use Paint for, don't save this file. If you save this file, all of the transparency that's currently showing up as white will be saved as white and that will ruin your sprite sheet. So you don't want to do that. I did load it and opened it in Paint just so I could hover my, my cursor over pixels and see here that this one, let's make sure on the left-hand side on this, it looks like this arm is right here on this pixel. I can look there. It looks like that's pixel 209 and the top pixel is 52. So if I want to use the next version, I'm going to say start at pixel 209 and 52. And now the next thing I need to tell it is how wide and how tall is that Mario image that I want to draw. Now here I'm going to cheat a little bit because what I could do is jump back into paint and measure it out, find that what that is. But I'm going to cheat because I know a little bit about Mario. Mario is an 8-bit game designed in the 80s. And in that time, they probably used, that are probably 8 or 16 or maybe 32 pixels wide. So if I'm going to make a guess here, I could just purely guess, but I did cheat. I know what the answer is. That in, in the Super Mario Brothers game and in most NES games, there's a 16 by 16 pixel sort of block. It's a not an official block. You're not forced to be in that block. You can be in any one pixel you like, but that's the same thing that's true of Mario and most of the en enemies and entities in Mario is they are 16 by 16. Now, of course, the interesting thing here is that Mario is big in our example. And since Mario is big, he's actually twice as tall as he is wide. So he's actually 32 instead of 16. Now, in if I've picked this out correctly, I've picked out that one frame of Mario that I want. Now I need to say, where do I want to paint Mario? For simplicity, I'm going to put Mario back at 0, 0, the top left corner. And I still need to say how wide and tall I want to make Mario. I'm going to just start for now with the same width and height that I made Mario already. So let's go ahead with that and see what happens. Oh, look at Mario. 
up there in the corner, but pretty small. Now's where scaling might be helpful. So I'm going to say, let's try and make Mario twice as big. And I did this similar thing in my own efforts, but I decided that three times as large was probably the appropriate size for my modern monitor, and that's how large I'm going to be making Mario in my game. And so you can see now that using this draw image method, we can pick out the section of the sprite sheet that we want and paint exactly and only that section to the screen. So the next step, of course, is now that we can pick out each of these frames, is we need to now decide, can we write a little method, or in this case, class, that's going to animate Mario by picking out which frame of the animation we are on and drawing that and only that frame as we need it for that small segment of time that it should appear on the screen. All right, thanks a lot for uh, looking at this video on the draw image method. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about drawing in my next couple videos and animation. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.